today, banking can seem very complex as there are so many banks. How does one choose where to invest? But historically, banking was designed to make your life easier. How so? Let's take a journey in history. In the 11th century, Italy was the hub of the financial institution of Europe. Merchants from all over the continent will come to Italy to trade. But this led to many disadvantages. There were seven different currencies. There was the possibility of even counterfeit currencies, even being robbed. And where would they trade? They would trade on park benches, sitting down and doing all their banking business on benches. Hence the reason why banks are called banks from the original name of Banco, which is Italian for bench. So now you understand the history of banks and its origin. It was simply designed by merchants to make life easier for whom? For you, the merchant or investor. How about today? What are some of the different avenues of investment? You know, a long time, your grandmother will always say, child, put some money on a fixed deposit. You never know, for a rainy day in a year or two, you just might need it. In economic times such as these, one tend to see the logic of what Granny would have said. Put away something for a rainy day, because when the storm comes and the rain falls, we need some extra dollars to bring some sunshine in your sky. Who has the answer? Where do we turn? Let's look at Answer Merchant Bank. What are they offering? What exactly is the difference between a fixed deposit as opposed to a mutual fund? Which one is better for you? Now, many young people may think, well, I too young to study fixed deposits or mutual funds. I have a whole lifetime to think about that. Investing is just for older people. The younger you start, the better it is. What exactly is a fixed deposit? Do you understand? A fixed deposit is usually a fixed sum that you invest in a bank. The bank now will give you a contract for that money that you give to them. What the bank would usually do? The bank will give you a fixed rate of interest for that particular sum of money. Now that money that you give to the bank, the bank will do what with it? Usually, the bank will invest your money. Your money could go as loans for other persons. How about liquidity? With a fixed deposit, it is less or I would say low liquidity with a fixed deposit because there would be a penalty if you choose to remove or withdraw your money before the stipulated time. However, with a mutual fund, you have a little more liquidity. Just remember, with mutual funds, the longer you invest in terms of the tenure, more likely the increased amount of interest you one can earn. So a fixed deposit is a one-time investment. Therefore, no need to monitor it. You can invest and forget about it and know at the age of maturity, your money is sure. So some persons who do not like taking risks, a fixed deposit may be your best option because it is sure. But Let's talk mutual funds. Now a mutual fund, as opposed to a fixed deposit, you have total control of where your money is being invested. So I tell people, see a fixed deposit as you loaning the bank. <laughs> Sounds very strange because normally you think about the bank loaning you. Now see your fixed deposit as you loaning the bank your money. So the mutual fund would not have a fixed rate of interest because it's subject to market changes However, most times, mutual funds may have higher rates of interest. It is a professionally managed investment scheme, and it pools money from a number of investors to buy equity, shares, bonds, and all these investments pool together, and you become what? A unit holder. So what does that mean for you? That means that you share the profit, you share the expenses, as well as the losses. Fixed deposits and mutual funds, they are both popular choices among investors. They are both investment schemes, and they offer you an interest on your principal investment. How about maturity? Is there a difference between the fixed deposit maturity as opposed to the mutual fund maturity? Yes, there are differences. Take for example, 
with the maturity, let's say for one year, for a fixed deposit, it is a fixed constant rate that you are sure about that you will get. However, with a mutual fund, it depends on the performance of a market or market conditions. So things like inflation, would inflation affect a fixed deposit? No, it would not, because that remains constant. However, inflation can affect mutual funds. So the both saving options as well as investment instrument, they have the advantages as well as their disadvantages, their pros as well as their cons. So you're thinking about buying a car next two years and you may have a sum of, let's say $60,000 that you want to put on some investment scheme. Think about how much interest, or first calculate the interest that that fixed deposit will yield. Let's say the car is about $75,000 and you want to yield a higher rate of interest. Will it be a fixed deposit or a mutual fund? More than likely, the higher rate of interest will yield from the mutual fund. Or if you have longer term investment, like you throw, you know, you, you, it's like fishing. You're there for the long haul. You throw the bait and you wait for the fish. You keep wheeling and you wait for the fish. You keep checking. That is the mutual fund. So you're looking for a five-year investment scheme, investment plan, mutual fund. Again, call Answer Merchant Bank. I'm sure they will be happy to help you.